Good afternoon, traders, and welcome to Trading Waves Weekly Outlook, where we'll be looking at the instruments. How are they expected uh, to perform in the coming uh, week? Right, so as for maybe our work or the past work that we've had, you can refer on our uh, channel. Talking about that, if you wish to contact us, you can visit us on our uh, YouTube uh, channel. That's where you are going to get our contact details uh, there. So this is our uh, YouTube uh, channel here, which is uh, Trading uh, Waves. So if you go on, uh, especially the weekly um, content, uh, you will see the uh, when you open that one, you're going to get our contact details there. So it's either you get myself or you get uh, Victor on uh, those uh, two WhatsApp numbers uh, there. You can also uh, uh, see our tele our social media uh, platforms. That would be our Telegram channel, our Facebook, and also on our Twitter. So you can visit us uh, there. Most importantly, if you've got any questions that uh, regarding our services, you can email us at, at info at uh, trading-waves.com or you can chat to us right here on the right bottom corner here. You can always chat to us. Uh, there. Somebody's always there attending uh, to those uh, 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 inquiries there. So just chat to us there for a fast uh, response. Right. So with that being said, uh, we this is our wave uh, site uh, here. You can visit us at trading-wave.com and you can also see what services that we have there. There will be a lot of uh, changes, so you can take advantage of the 30% off uh, especially on our courses uh, that is uh, currently running until you don't see this. So uh, yeah, very likely this is going, this today is the last day when we're having this 30% off. So you can take advantage uh, today, right? So like I've said, there's a lot that is going to change on our website there, including our pricing as well. You will see uh, uh, that in the coming uh, few uh, days. All right, so let's get started and let's see what the market expected uh, in the uh, coming uh, weeks. Uh, so we're going to start with the DXY. You know now if you've been following us uh, uh, on our YouTube page, you know how we have been uh, uh, looking at the DXY. So our view has not yet changed. We're still liking the idea that this, in terms of a structure, this still needs to complete here. So we are still looking at this uh, to be a wave A here. This to have been a wave B as a 335 uh, structure here. If you're not sure what I'm referring to when I'm talking about a three. 335 structure here, you can always hop in and choose uh, our courses there. So we're going to be having like uh, short uh, courses that will be teaching about the structures for someone that says, I'm not interested in this Elliott Wave thing. However, I've spotted that there is a structure that the market uh, plays up. Maybe the market does something like this uh, yeah, and then maybe give a structure like this. Maybe it goes a move like this here, uh, and all of a sudden it drops. So you're not sure how does this uh, yeah, uh, tune in in our website. You will get these short courses uh, here where we will be explaining uh, these uh, structures there and how to trade them not just explaining them alone uh, but also how do you trade such uh, structures if they do play out and maybe you want to know how is it related maybe to my supply and demand that I know or my price action uh, that I'm trading or maybe uh, the uh, specific pattern that I'm trading. How is this related to? You're going to hop in on the website. We're going to be having these uh, short uh, courses there that you might want to take advantage uh, of. So that is exactly what we've seen here with a DXY made this 335 uh, structure here. Now we've been looking at this one to be my wave A, uh, wave B again. Obviously, for some time now, we are stuck around this era here, but we have been looking at this to be our wave one and then this to be our wave two here. So we are still trading against this swing high yet. So the direction on the DXY has not changed. Anything below that, we are looking for a bearish move to the down side again. Remember, I always say this, that when you are in your wave B a correction, uh, you are on your wave two and your wave four, there is a lot that can take place there. Unfortunately, some people, they just know, oh, this is a three wave move here. Yeah, it's a correction. Uh, yeah, this is done. When something like this, they start to play out here, yeah, then a lot of people, they get uh, confused. They don't know when are we ready for a, a move to the up uh, side. So if you're one of those, you might want to consider uh, to jump in for our full cause or those uh, short calls that I'm referring to here. Yeah. As for the dollar index, I would love to see this one, not to come and take this high here in the coming weeks and then just drop from here. Taking this high does not mean that it invalidates uh, the structure. Just bear in mind that the bigger uh, invalidation level will be this one here that is still uh, telling us that we should be expecting to see a bearish move to the down uh, side uh, here. 
Right, so obviously the euro US dollar, which is inversely correlated to the DXY. So we have been looking at this one here. If you've been following us in terms of the structure, we are simply looking at this one here. Mary moved to the upside. This being a, a, a flat collective structure here, just like inversely correlated to the DXY. And this to have Mary moved to the upside. And we do believe that this has completed the move here. This being a wave one here, this to have made it through a move. And we do believe that this is ready for a move to the up side. Right, so that's what we are expecting on the euro US dollar in the coming weeks. Obviously, we've started to bounce out here from uh, here, so I wouldn't want to see the price there. So, even if this just dropped like this, I wouldn't want to see the price come around this swing low. But again, if it does come here, that doesn't mean that the structure is validated. Well, as long as this is still trading above this uh, 104.50 area here, we're going to be looking at the dollar, the, the euro US dollar, that it should continue with that move to the up side. Your pound US dollar, the very same thing that we've been speaking about. Uh, yeah, so from these lows uh, here, I'm going to be a bit quicker because there's really nothing much that has changed from the previous uh, week. Hence, I'm saying that the market has been a bit of a sideways uh, move. Uh, yeah, so you will see uh, uh, that uh, on the chart. So the pound US dollar, we believe that from this low here, yeah, this is already made a move to the upside and this has completed a three wave move structure here. Yeah, now, against this swing low here, yeah, we are looking at this to be making a move to the up uh, side. Obviously, as an alternative view, we are tracking this. Can we have the price to come back? Around on these swing lows here. If it does that, then we are looking at this one here to be very likely a three wave move structure here that can be our W here. This should be our wave X here. Then we can have this one to be our wave A Y. That's the structure, but obviously a certain level needs to be hit before we can talk about this structure. For now, we are favoring this move uh, to the upside on the pound US uh, dollar. Right, so your US dollar chief, we still like the idea for this one that it should drop, especially against this swing high. Uh, yeah, you'll see that we've had this five wave move to the downside, and we still believe that uh, this is still missing. Yeah, something is still missing. We do believe that this was just a three wave move structure. Yeah, we will still be expecting that at least we must drop a move that is related to this one. So I do believe that this isn't a correction. Yeah, remember that this is positively correlated to your DXY and obviously inversely correlated to the Euro US uh, dollar. So meaning that if the Euro US dollar does as expected the move to the upside then your US dollar chief uh, is very likely that it's going to give us a drop to the downside uh, yeah so obviously we might see this maybe one more leg but eventually I'm gonna be expecting that the US dollar chief should eventually drop obviously you don't just go and sell this year you need to have some confirmation obviously we do use a special indicator that tells us when these moves are ready here yeah. but just a simple thing here yeah. wait for an impulsively move once you see that one and then you can look for a correction then that's when you can look for a short move to the down uh, side on your US dollar uh, chief. Right, so your Aureus dollar here, yeah, week in, week out. Uh, you have also got the latest video that I created about Audi US dollar here, yeah, so you can refer to that one, especially if you are specializing on the Audi US uh, dollar. But structurally, we're still looking at this one here yeah, uh, to be a, a move to the upside that is related to this one here. Yeah. So we are still looking at this one to have made it a year, uh, wave B a year, yeah, and obviously wave C at some point, it needs to have the five wave uh, move. So we do believe that this is our wave one of we've seen here and then this to have been a uh, uh, three uh, three uh, corrective structure here. Yeah, this will be an A, B, C here. Yeah. So this has started to make a move to the upside. So I do believe that this will eventually uh, start to give a move to the upside in the coming uh, weeks. So obviously, like I've said, it, you can refer on our channel here. Uh, yeah, I've got this latest video on an Audi US dollar where we were detailing it uh, uh, here or we were just explaining it more into detail. Refer to this uh, video here yeah, of an Australian US dollar. That's if you are interested on it. Uh, so like I've said, it, we've got even like targets where we are uh, we are anticipating that how far this uh, can trade to the up uh, side obviously your new zealand us dollar is, is a sister pair to our us dollar here yeah? so we are we have been looking at this one here yeah? uh, that it should give us a move that is related to this uh, move here yeah? we've had this one making a move to the upside and we're looking at this one here to be a throw move creative structure so we are looking at this a uh, year yeah? that it has completed this uh, wave one yeah obviously this being your wave a year yeah? uh wave b here yeah? at some point we are expecting to see a wave c that means your, the wave c obviously is made up of a five wave move so we are looking at this to be a wave one of a wave we've seen this to be our wave two year so we're going to be expecting a three and a four and a wave a five like i've said it if we, if we that short video on the audio story you hear about it there then definitely you know what is expected as well on your new zealand us dollar 
uh, US dollar CAD, we are looking at this one that it should still give us a drop here. At least if it's not gonna go all the way to the downside, because uh, you know how we have been looking at this one here now that it has dropped here. It, it could just be a three wave move lower here. There are a couple of ways to look at this one here. This being our connector here, and we can still have this one to be a three wave move. This three wave move uh, being related to this three wave move that we have seen here. So this could just be your W here, uh, wave X here, and this to be a uh, wave Y. Now, let's say, for example, that this is done a uh, year. This is all the correction that we needed. Let's say, for example, uh, this is all the three wave moves that we've got here. Because uh, it depends what am I looking for here. I can still have this to have been an impulsively move here. Let's say, for example, it's your one, your two, your three, your four, your five. This being your wave one here. So this could just be a, a three wave move structure here. Let's say, for example, this being a wave two here. Uh, if that's the case, that might mean this is a wave one as a leading diagonal, something like this here. Uh, maybe this being your wave one in a different degree now. Then uh, if, and if uh, uh, that's the case, we, we still have to get something like this. Maybe be a wave two against this swing low here. And then maybe we see this move to the upside. Yeah, that's if this is done. But I still believe that uh, my preferred view is that this is still in the correction here. We still need to see the three wave move here. Then maybe can come somewhere around your 128, 127 area before we can see the biggest move to the up side. Remember the positive correlation to your US dollar based a pairs to the DXY. If the DXY drop, then we're going to see this one dropping lower here. Until the DXY is done, then we can start to see uh, that big move to the up side. Your US dollar JPY, just like uh, we have been talking about this one here for quite some time, so far we are still holding above this swing high uh, here. So we, we still entertain that this must drop, but obviously we still need to see this one at, at, at uh, breaking out these uh, uh, lower uh, high, uh, lower low, lower high, Lower low high here, yeah, lower low, lower high. Uh, if you can get rid of that weekend and start to make a new low here, yeah, very likely that we're gonna be looking for this bearish move to the downside. Uh, especially if the DXY can be the one that is driving the market, I uh, would we'll expect that this is going to drop to the downside. But obviously, against this year, if it does take this a year, then expect a little bit of a push high before we can expect to see a drop to the downside on a US, uh, a US dollar JPY. So we still need to see more confirmation on this one again. Yeah. Pound yen, we've seen this one a couple of weeks, how we have been able to trade it uh, from around this area here. So we've been looking at this one to make a move to the upside. Obviously, we are looking at this uh, to be the level that is going to invalidate this move to the upside. So all we know now that, that this can pull back like this, if it does give us a through move structure, we're looking for a move to the upside. But for some reason, this was to drop lower here and come to around this level here. You know how we've been feeling about your pound yen in a long term. We've said it before that in a long term, your pound yen should start to give us a drop to the downside here. Yeah, but obviously that move to the downside, it needs to be confirmed. We need to see something that this year is going to be a bearish. Come and take out these swing lows uh, here. Once it does that, then every time it pull back, then we can start to look for the big one to the down side. Euro yen still against this swing high. Yeah, we have been looking at this one that it should drop. Obviously, we had a very big drop to the downside. Uh, yeah, uh, a couple of uh, uh, it was, I think it was more than a thousand pips drop that we saw a uh, year. You can see that the thousand hundred seventeen pips drop we saw here. Ever since then, this has been trading higher. Yeah, two things happen here that this is giving us an ending diagonal like this a uh, year, and then come and take this high and then start to give us a drop, or alternatively, this to have been an impulsively move to the downside and then this is in a correction in an 11 swing sequence a year but still against this swing high year it still give us this drop to the down side not sure if it's an 11 swing uh then you can just uh, 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 uh I can put it uh, this way, yeah. 11 swing, I'm just referring to your W, X, Y, X, Z. Uh, but then if you're not sure what is that one, then you might consider to take those short calls that I'm referring to here that will uh, help you here. So we are looking for this one to give us a bearish move to the downside, but obviously we need to get rid of this high, high, uh, so, uh, higher, high, higher low sequence. Again, if we can get rid of that one, come and take out these major lows here, then it might be time for a big one to the down uh, side. So there's a simple way of just uh, confirming uh, there that move to the downside. Downside on your euro yen.
So chief yen, this looks a bit corrective here. So I'm gonna be looking at this one that it should still give us a move to the upside here. What is very likely to happen if you look at this, this has made a three wave move here, a three wave move to the upside here. And obviously this to be a one, two, very likely that it might do something like this. And then we have a three, three, five. Here. So it might slide lower here, more lower here, but eventually it should make a move to the upside. Last week I showed you how we have been able to trade this one from this low here. We got a couple of like 200 something pips move to the upside, obviously it has came back and hit us on the break even but obviously we do we have already taken partial profit it's just that we wanted to see this extending more to the upside yeah but it just showed that this was not a that three three five structure very likely and from there we can expect to see that move to the up uh, side Kedian, you can see that this is making a move to the upside even though uh, it's a bit of like an um and the volume is no longer there to the upside, but I will still have to see this one here. At least give us one more leg up uh, here, then from there we can start to look for this possibility. Once you start to confirm the impulse of the move, that we can look to short uh, your head uh, yet. But for now, this still looks good. There's a lot of nesting that is taking place. This being your wave one, your wave two uh, here, and then this to be uh, your wave one, your wave one, your wave two, your three here, your four here, your wave five uh, here. So we are looking at this. That is very likely. It might even do something like this have a wave four a year uh, look, this is your wave one this being a wave two here or wave three a year so this could just form a wave four here and still give us a move to the upside obviously after the wave five that's when we might see a big bearish move to the downside on your cat uh, yen Right, so uh, New Zealand Yen, we are looking at this here that it should still make a move to the upside. I've shown you a couple of times how we have been able to trade this one to the upside here. So we have been looking at this one being a leading diagonal uh, here as a wave one here, made a nice three wave move. That's why we had a trade setup and this to have been our wave two here. Yeah. Internally here, you can see that we've just made a five wave move. This being a one, two, a three, a four here, a wave five a uh, year. So that tells you that there's a degree that is being completed yeah so this being our wave one here yeah, so we could be having this one to be a sharp wave two against this swing low here yeah. then we still see this one continue with that move to the upside unless of course if it does come to this swing low here yeah, then it might be time to look for the possibility of a short move uh, to the downside on news then yeah but with your news then you have to expect it to make a move to the upside it would be nice to see your news then yen as well to give us a move to the up uh, side the very same thing that you've seen here on a euro audi we own a uh, not euro audi but your audi yen we have been looking at this year to have been a wave one a year and then this to have been a uh, wave two yeah this to have made a wave two yeah so we could be having this one to be a wave one in a lower degree or giving us a next year this could be just a sharp two wave moves a year or it might even do something like this and then maybe a deeper correction against this swing low yeah we will still be looking for that move to the upside if it doesn't go from here and then just jumps in a three wave move yet then we're very likely that we see another pullback in a three wave move but eventually against this swing low I'm going to be expecting to see a move to the upside on your Audi uh, yen. The euro pairs, we are looking at this one here that it should still drop. Uh, we are still trading below this swing high here. If, you're, if you've been following me, I've been saying that as long as this is kept uh, below this uh, yeah. If this take this uh, high here, yeah, then we are very like that we are having this is a three wave move and obviously we would have missed a trade here then this is going to make a move to the upside but for now i've been looking at this to be a one year a uh, wave two a uh, year and then this to be a wave one in a different degree obviously this being your wave one year and then this could just be a uh, wave two yeah it might even start to drop here only to find out that this correction is not getting as far as uh, the equal uh, legs i want to see this dropping from here but if it still give us one more leg up it must never get to this high yet because getting to this high will be invalidating that we've come that uh, we have so i want to see this one dropping to the downside and it will make sense if your audi is going to make a move to the upside this being an audi code pair and uh, then it will be supported that it give us a bearish move to the down uh, side Right, so your Euro New Zealand will be the same as well here. The two pairs are a sister pair. That's what I would like to call them. So we are looking at the Euro New Zealand that it should still drop to the downside. Uh, yeah, so the very same thing that we have been looking, this should be now wave one, uh, wave two here, yeah, different degree, this being a wave one, and this to be a wave two. So we want to see this one here, yeah, continue with the drop to the downside. Uh, yeah. Obviously, can it just do something like this? Being a one, two, a three, a four here, yeah, maybe a, a wave five a uh, year, yeah, it can still do something like this. And then we have a diagonal and then maybe give us a drum pullback before we drop but for now we just want to see this one giving us a drop from where it is especially against this swing high uh, air yeah. So that's what I'm going to be expecting on your Euro New Zealand as for Eurocat I've showed you before a uh, year 
that we are looking at this, that it should drop. However, I always used to come and show the structure here, that this is a one here, uh, this is an A here, a B here, and an expanding flat curve structure like this, so yeah, this to be your A here, uh, wave B A here, and we're expecting this to be our wave C A here like this before I move to the upside. Well, it can still play out like that, but at the same time, we have to try and relate uh, the waves A here. So there is still a possibility that this could have just made the three wave move to a downside here, yeah? this being your W here. Yeah. Then this could just be a sharp correction only to find out that this is our connector here. And we still see something like this as a three wave move here. And then this becomes our wave Y. But either way, whether you're looking at it to be a W, X, Y here or an A, B, C, then this will still be expected that it should drop lower here before we can expect to see a big move to the upside. But this move to the downside should be kept against this swing high here. For whatever reason the price was to make this a year then we forget about this here then it means it's all the question that we need this will be our wave one here and then maybe we can have this one to be our wave two here and then we're ready for a three and a four and a wave five to the up side so the only time that you're going to trigger buys here is only if we can get impossibly to attack this year then we can start to look for pullbacks against this swing low here and expect that move to the upside right now i'm favoring a bearish move to the down air side your Euro chief, uh, you know, we have been looking at this one that it should drop. However, I took a, a look. Uh, yeah, now remember this. We've got this here to have made a drop to the downside as a five wave move, a pull back here. This is still very likely that it could drop to the downside like this against this swing high here. Yeah. But if you take this high here, yeah, forget about this drop. That would mean this we might be ready for a move to the upside. I'm going to show you what is happening on the. Um, a monthly time frame a year uh, one of the member uh, uh, was very passionate to look at uh, the uh, the monthly candles yeah if you look at these monthly candle patterns here yeah, i'm gonna be honest with you they are not a uh, favor that this is going to drop uh, we just to see uh, what i see here because this is our invalidation level if you look at this from this candle here to this candle here uh, this was a reversal candle pattern a uh, year if you are aware of the reversal candle pattern supported by this move so so it's very likely that as much as we are looking for this one to drop, but this might come around this area here and invalidate. If it goes and check this year, we look for a pullback, then we are going to look for uh, the buying opportunity to the upside on uh, your Euro uh, chief. But we shall see uh, if uh, this is going to drop anytime from this week. But if it continues high, very likely that we get this one to invalidate the move to the down air side. Euro pound, I've been showing you this one here for a couple of time now that we are looking at this, that it should still drop to the downside. Yeah, so we have been looking at this one to have made an impassively move to a downside, being a wave one, sharp wave two a year. So we are looking at this to have dropped already here in a wave one, made it a very nice three, three, five structure here as our wave two year. So we're gonna be expecting to see a three and a four and a five that will be completing this uh, year. This to have been your wave one, your wave two year, this to be your wave three, maybe we'll get a pull back here and then this continues more lower to the down air side but that's what we are looking at right at now as for the pound audi here i still favor this that it should make a drop to the downside yeah i don't want to see your pound audi to break this high before it can give you a three-wave move a structure it has dropped lower here now i'm looking at this to be an expanding flat collective structure i want to see this dropping lower uh, here giving us a move like this here before i move to the up air side alternatively against this swing high again here we could have this one to make a drop in a three-wave move here Maybe we have this a year to be a three wave move structure like this a year, and then maybe it starts to give us this uh, drop. This being your W a year, your wave X here, this to be your wave Y before I move to the upside. But I want to short this intraday just for a move that is related due to this one here. I want to see this year dropping in a five wave move. Once it can do that, then we're going to be looking for a big one to the upside. Again, just to show you why do I say this? I've showed you this one uh, before that we are, we are looking at this to have made move to the upside pull back a uh, 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 lower uh, here but obviously this to have been uh, too shallow for this pullback that's why i still expect that this is going to drop a uh, year something that is related to this one it will make sense that we had uh, at least uh, these two correct uh, through a move structure here come somewhere here before we can see a move that is going to be related to this one here but for now i still want to see this one giving us a drop to the downside uh, on your pound a uh, audi the very same thing with your pound new zealand we are looking at this year that it should drop lower here again if you 
have looked at this one from these lows here. We've had this one to have made a three wave move to the upside here. So we are looking for a three wave move to the down air side. Now, two things happen here. We have this one drop uh, lower here. Then we're going to look at this here to be a flat collective structure. And well, then we still have this one to drop lower here. Or alternatively, what we could have here is this used to have made a three wave move to the downside here. And then this is giving us a three wave move to the upside here as a connector like this. Then we are yet to see a three wave move. Then this becomes your W here, uh, wave X as a connector, obviously against this swing high. Then we get this to be our wave Y before we can get a big one to the up air side. But right now, looking at what is happening with the DXY, if the DXY can start to drop here, yeah, very likely that we are going to see your pound news land drop. Somebody might be a bit confused. Why the DXY? DXY, if it dropped to the downside here, yeah, then you're going to have your news land US dollar making a move to the upside. And then this being an NZD code a pay would be a, a, a pressure that it dropped to the downside here. Yeah. So that's why I'm I'm referring that your DXY drop, then it's just going to result on your New Zealand, uh, your pound New Zealand as well to be giving us this drop to the downside here yeah, before we can talk about the possibility of a move to the up air side. Right, so your pound chief, you've shown this one here. Our last trade setup, obviously, was somewhere around this area here when we saw this three move starter. If you didn't see that one, you can refer to the last week's uh, video where we showed you how we have been able to trade this year to the up side. Obviously, our target was this year. Uh, if you, if you, if you, if you somebody might be a bit confused why that's a specific swing high yeah simply because ever since then we have been doing this lower low lower high lower low so this is a very first time uh, first and uh, major swing high that we are taking out a year which tells us that the trend has uh, changed uh, to the other way around obviously we have been dropping taking this year we've got a very nice v patient v shape pattern here so we're going to be looking at this one that it should continue the move to the upside yeah obviously it doesn't just go in a straight line it's some point here, this might do maybe something like this or pulling back here, correcting this sector from this low to this swing high. Yes, yeah. so until then, give us this throw move pull back. That's the only time we can look to jump in into a trade again on your pound air chief. Right, so a pound cat still looking at this one here that it should drop to the downside, but obviously, if it break this high uh, here, if it start to take out these swing highs uh, here, then this is ready for a move to the up uh, side. Yeah, it's just that I've always uh, said, mentioned this one that uh, this does not have the right look because we've had this one here, made an impulsively move to the upside here, yeah? five wave move to the upside, and we are seeing this uh, so far here as a retracement level. There's nothing wrong with this, it could just be the retracement level but it should make sense it must have the right look i even prefer that at least this comes back uh, here and maybe we have this sideways market before we can get another leg to the upside but once these swing has are being taken out of here then that means uh, pound cat is ready for a bullish move to the upside but for now i still favor at least one more leg low to come back to around these swing lows before we can talk about the move to the up uh, side right so let's have a look at the um uh, commodity pairs a uh, year gold gold we are looking at this one that it should continue with the move to the upside we've spoken about this one several times we can week out when we come here we always say that uh, whatever happens with gold it must make a move to the up uh, side yeah i'm gonna show you like uh, two charts uh, here uh, let me just uh, show you this chart here on gold so this is how we have been looking at gold all along here uh, that it it made this move to the upside yeah and then made this year to be a, a three-way move low heads of gold is a double you here and then this will be now wave x so we're looking at the last wave a year and strictly against this swing low we wanted to see this move to the upside yeah you can see that this chart was posted on the 14th of feb so ever since then we're looking at gold that it should make a move to the upside yeah then you can see that uh, eventually we, we were here at the time we we're here and we're expecting to see this move to the upside yeah so from these lows to around this high yeah this has made uh, over a 10 dollar move that's like 10 thousand uh, that's like a thousand points uh, a thousand points is equivalent to a ten dollar move here so this has made a very nice move to the upside on your goal now two things happen a uh, year that um gold as much as you you saw on the uh, uh uh, on that uh, uh, chart that I showed you that we're looking at this to make a move to upside hands of gold this is a one as a two uh, a yeah, year and then we're looking for this to be a three but we are very well aware uh, that gold uh, here uh, has made this now I'm going to show you from this three wave move drop to the downside a uh, year and then this have made a move to the upside yeah somebody might look at it I I'm just going to have it like this for now 
Uh, I don't want to show it as a three-way move, but I want to show you that you need to be careful of this. This has dropped lower here in a three-way move structure like this here, and then this has made this move that is related to this one here in yellow. Now, the big question is, are we heading more higher to the upside as we've got it on that uh, chart, or we are going to see a drop to the downside that is related to this one uh, Yeah, Because there's still that possibility that gold could just be a W yeah, This form a wave XA, and then this to be a wave Y before we can get a big move that is related to this one uh, Yeah, So be, can be mindful somewhere around this area here. Uh, obviously, I'm giving you this as an alternative view. For now, I'm just favoring that this is going to make a move to the upside there. Yeah, so these two have been a uh, wave one here, this being a uh, wave two here. So looking at this to be a three, a four, and a five at some point. But obviously, once this gets at the equal legs, a reaction should be seen. If it pulled back in a through move like this, we're still looking for more bullish move uh, to the upside on a uh, gold. As for silver here, I've been showing you this one a couple of uh, times, that silver should give us a move to the upside as well. Uh, this was the larger chart uh, here that we had as well on the silver here. Obviously, this was a trade setup that we said to remember that this has made a very nice throw move slot here into the blue box. Now, we are expecting this move to the upside. This was on the 29th uh, year uh, that we posted this uh, chart here. So, we're expecting to see this move uh, to the upside on your silver. You can see that silver has already pumped to the upside here uh, at the time of the posting we were exactly a year let me switch to the one hour the time frame because that's where you are seeing that uh, chart we were here and i said this was ready for a move to the upside check the blue box a year like this year and now we're looking for that move so that trade is already running at a risk a free a very 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 painless uh, trade that we had there on a uh, silver but uh, where to from now we still expect to see more bullish move to the upside on your silver. So we have been looking at this one to have made an impulsively move to the upside. And then this should be an ABC here. Obviously, with the wave season ending diagonal that we had here, made a wave one here, wave two here. So we're looking for a three and a four and a wave a five. Now, obviously, an alternative view, be mindful. This could just be a three wave move to the upside, come somewhere here, and then maybe this a drop to the downside. Remember this alternative view that I've always said that as much as I'm looking this to be a wave one but this could be a three way move and then this could still form a three way move structure like this yeah that is just an alternative view that we might have on a silver or a bearish alternative a view right now we are entertaining that move to the upside from this era of a blue box your brand crude uh the platinum rather uh platinum still needs to drop to the downside here yeah, i've shown you why we are looking at this to drop just so you see here from these highs to this low here we've been looking at this to be a five way move your wave one or two or three a uh, year uh, this should be now wave four and then this being your ending diagonal as a wave five a uh, year completing your wave a bounce up in a three way move as a wave b a uh, year we are looking at this it could even be something like this come somewhere here yeah, running flat and then have a three and a four and a wave five but we're looking at this to be our wave one so this could even if it does come up here or it can even come and take this side but as long as this is going to be kept uh, below this year we're still looking for a five wave move to a downside that are going to be related to this one two three four five that we saw a uh, year then from there that's when we can still expect to see a move to the upside so meaning every time this makes a move uh, a through a move starter like this we still looking for a short move uh, to the downside on your platinum brand include all very good looking for a move to the downside a uh, year so obviously we have been looking at this we are getting a specific level a uh, year but if you look at this structure here i've shown you this one week in week out if you look at this made a diagonal yeah one two three four five a year diagonal to the downside so we need something that is going to be related to this one here so that's why we are looking at brand crude oil that these two have made a move to the upside this being your running flat in the middle here so we're expecting one more leg up then from there you're going to be looking for a very big drop to the downside on your brand air uh, crude air uh, oil but that looks good for a move uh, to the down uh, side those who are trading natural gas looking for a move to the uh, upside a uh, year after we saw this drop here so we will be looking for a move to the upside watch out for this one here it might be a nice one if to just get back to around these uh, highs a year but we are looking for a big one to the upside on the natural i guess all right so in this indices just for formality to be honest uh, yeah week in week out when i come in here i keep on calling the indices that they should still continue to move to the upside nasdaq has been the one that has been very lagging here but it has eventually got into the old time high as well now we're going to talk about the S&P 500, Dow Jones and the rest here, your Nikkei, your Nifty. They've been to the all-time high. 
and long. So we have been using those other indices uh, to trade your NASDAQ uh, yeah, and your S&P 500 and your Dow Jones. Those, those main three, uh, they are the ones that have been a very uh, uh, nagging. So we are looking at them as well, that they, they were going to get to the all-time high. Eventually, the NASDAQ, which was the last one that was nagging, has eventually got into the all-time high. Now, I know a lot of people here, I, I remember very well, when we're here, people were selling this indices that they're going to drop. Even here, I, I can't even how many weeks uh, I got a comment here that your NASDAQ is going to drop to a downside to these lows a year. But ever since then, I'm not changing my views simply because of those uh, comments. I look at them. I, I value them, uh, their views. Uh, these are our own views a year. So we've been calling for the indices that they should still make a move to the upside even now. Taking the all-time high, we're still looking for this one that it should continue to move to the upside. We are simply looking for pullbacks and we're looking for this here. So these indices, yeah, they are not done. We still see them as making a move to the upside. Yeah, I've shown a couple of times how we have been able to trade these here. Look at your Dow Jones here. Has already broken up of this year. Look at this now. Now, this is going to be a very critical level yeah, because it can just drop like this. Come here and still make a move to the upside. Yeah. Now, if this was to drop in a through a move here, simple textbook setup that's if it does right now i'm expecting to see more continuation move uh, to the upside there the very same thing with your dow jones uh, with your s&p 500 it shall continue the move to the upside a uh, year very same thing that we are seeing here we've broken the all time high here now if it does pull back here like this we're simply looking for a continuation move uh, to the upside on your s&p 500 not expecting those but if they were to play uh, back here in a three-way move we're simply looking for a move to the upside yeah look at jacks long term hit the all-time high came back lower in a three-way move gave us a very nice trade setup bam made a move to the upside another entry was here made a move to the upside we're still looking for this if it does this year we're still gonna pay keep on riding this one yet to the upside on your ducks your uk 100 nothing has changed here as much as this looks a bit collectively here yeah. but i've showed you last week look at this loss look at these lows here yeah. look at these lows here yeah. they keep on making the highs the highs are here so we are looking at this uh, that it will eventually make this big move to the upside here yeah, on your uk one and the seed coming back to around these highs as well on uk one and as much as we are a bit of a corrective a uh, year uh, but obviously you can just hop in just if you are not sure what is happening around this strategy yeah, we are looking at this year that it shall continue with the move to the upside on uk 100 nifty or nikki rather we showed you this one here, yeah? the last trade setup that we had here. Yeah? Very nice, painless uh, trade that we had here. Yeah? We're looking at this to be a three way move and it has made a very big move to the upside here. Yeah? And it's just been to the all time high. When we got somewhere here, yeah? we are still looking at this and there's no resistance that is visible on the chart here. Yeah? So we're going to be looking for more bullish move to the upside. Obviously, you can pick up those uh, hidden support and resistance uh, with the Fibonacci. Yes. Yeah? So one of those uh, causes that we are going to have there, uh, how to use the Fibonacci are here uh, to determine the hidden support and resistance and uh, levels. Uh, your nifty uh, here uh, move to the upside. I show the latest trade that we've had uh, here uh, just starting from this one uh, here. We had a very nice painless trade went into the blue box, made a move to the upside here. Yeah. Ever since then, this is keep on making a move. We're going to be expecting to see more bullish move to the upside on your uh, nifty. All right, so as for the cryptocurrencies, we've spoke, we've seen this one that how we have been able to write the, the, this bullish move to the upside on a Bitcoin. Yeah, so if you're not sure, you can even refer to uh, our charts here. Uh, I remember posting this uh, here when we were here that we are looking for this big move to the upside. Yeah, even uh, when we were here, there's a couple of trades that we've taken here on a Bitcoin. Yeah, the one that I still remember here was this. Three-way move structure here. Yeah. This was a blue box trade setup here. Yeah. We made another three-wave uh, move uh, structure here, uh, somewhere here yeah, with a blue box trade setup. The last one that we had was when we got this pullback here, yeah, which has already moved. Uh, uh, let me just look at this uh, trade alone. The last one that we had on a Bitcoin here yeah, was when we traded this move from this low here. Yeah, you'll see that this has already made over a $22,000 move, just this one alone a uh, year. Yeah. Uh, that was shared, obviously, inside the members area. 
over here. So Bitcoin, no signs of a reversal here. Still looking at this one here, that it should continue to move to the upside. So I'm gonna be expecting this, but obviously once we get somewhere here, maybe we might get a little bit of a pullback and then this move to the upside. For now, I wanna see this here, continue with the bullish move uh, to the upside. Your Ethereum will be the same as well here. Yeah? Uh, our last trade setup that we had was when we got this one to have made a very nice three-way move structure here, yeah? and we're looking for this uh, move here. Over a thousand two hundred dollars already that we have seen uh, uh, here on Ethereum. So we're gonna be still expecting that this should still continue here. Yeah? So even if it does this through a pullback here, yeah, we are still looking at this one here. Yeah? Obviously, with your Bitcoin expected that it might get to the all-time high, so that will mean your Ethereum as well, very likely to get to the all-time uh, high. I should have shown you this one here, yeah, how it has played nicely here. I've seen like some other uh, 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 service provider that were expecting that this was going to drop a year. I remember at some point, somebody commented here and said on a ripple that it was going to drop here because it has taken a low uh, here, but there was on a ripple here. But I kept on saying, you know, cryptocurrencies they are going to make this move to the upside here so this one here obviously it missed our trade setup somewhere around this area here but it never missed a move we still expected that this was going to make a move to the upside and this is still expected to trade higher yeah i'm going to still be expecting this before maybe we can get a pullback and then this move to the upside this should still continue with the move to the upside on your light uh, coin and then lastly of the cryptocurrency that we've got listed uh that would be your ripple here yeah. so this is a swing low that i was referring to here yeah. uh apparently there's some Mother says provider have taken this swing low, but we had a trade setup here that we were looking for this move to the upside. Let me show you how we have been able uh, to trade your XRP uh, here uh, on the one hourly time frame. These are the trade setup that we have taken on your Ripple here. So it first made this three wave move structure here, and then it fell right into the blue box uh, here, and it was deep into the blue box. This was our first entry here around this area here for blue box, made a move to the upside, pulled back in a three wave move into the blue box, and this is our second entry here. So we're still looking to take this one at least back to around uh, one uh, dollars on uh, XRP. Obviously, the potential that it can even go as far as above your five to ten dollars uh, a yeah, year but we take it one wave at a time we're not worried much about uh, which is going to be the factor we just keep on riding uh, the wave here yeah, or the trend to the up uh, side all right guys if you like our content please you know what to do right now uh, please do make sure that you like our videos uh, you are subscribed to our page and also do make sure that bell notification it is turned on so that every time we release this content at least you are notified all right from my side that's what i want to share with you please trade safe and responsible and i'm gonna see you guys in the mid of the week cheers everybody have a good one bye, -bye.